Hello, today Nathan and I are doing a quick video to show you how to make these double Z fold cards. Now they look complicated, but they are really easy. So the first thing that we need is just a piece of cardstock and we want it 30 centimeters long and we're going to cut it down here at about 10 and a half centimeters. So I'll just get trimmer and cut that through all right now this is going to be this part of the card that we're making so I can give you measurements but it is just as easy for this step just to fold it in half use your bone scorer to get a nice crisp fold and then we're going to fold the front part back on itself. So just like that, bone folder again, give it a nice crisp fold. And that is the first part of our card. Now, the second part that we need to make is this band that goes across. So for that, we go back to that piece of card stock that we had, and we're going to cut it at five centimeters so we just want it five centimeters wide and I'm going to, get, to just get rid of that guillotine altogether we don't need that anymore now for this one which is this part here we actually need to do a little bit of measuring for that one so I'm going to get my trimmer and I'm not cutting, I'm just scoring. And I'm scoring at 13 centimeters. So we measure along 13 centimeters and we give that an, a score. And then we are going to have a second score line at 20 centimeters. So measure 20 centimeters and score again. Now, this piece gets folded on the score lines. And we have two pieces and they fit like that. So that one goes folded back like that. And that is our card. Now from here, we do the decorating. Now, before we move on, I just want to explain a bit more about this band. The, this, this one I've done at five centimeters, but this one I've done a little bit thinner. So you can decide how thick you or thin you actually have that band, depending on what paper you want to use. And you can decorate it a different couple of different ways. You can cut the panels so you've got a bit of a border, or you can use all one strip right across. So the decorating is totally up to you. Now, the next step is how to stick the band and where to stick it. So we're going to, I've got a card that I've half prepared. So I've decorated it. I've put some, a panel of paper on the back and a panel of paper on that front fold. And I've decorated my band uh, on this one's got a bit of lace and a bit of uh, uh, a sticker across there. Now we need to put that on here. So the long piece here, we put some double-sided tape and we only put double-sided tape on the left half of this front band. We don't put any tape at all on the middle panel. And on the last panel, we put tape right across. I use tape. You can use glue. It's up to you, which whatever your uh, gluing preference is. Um, I just find double-sided tape easier. So we're sticking that... And 
peeling off all my tape across here. Okay, now we're going to stick it about two centimeters up from the bottom. maybe one centimetre and it just gets stuck on that panel there there's no tape on there we don't want that stuck down this piece here gets stuck at the other edge down here so that goes like that and that gets completely stuck so that is it there you have the card that is it done now I probably just need to finish decorating this card so I've got a little piece that I'm going to put on there just like that and I'm going to put a pretty ribbon bow on here put a little bit of strong glue to hold my ribbon bow thank you for watching Say thank you for watching, Daisy. <laughs> Get off. <laughs>